Hey guys, this is Courtney and it's dark out. Obviously I'm in a parking lot. I'm waiting to meet my husband. Um, and I just have been thinking a lot about this and I wanted to share it. So my daughter and I just had a miscommunication. I was supposed to have dinner with her and we were supposed to go to a movie and I don't see very well. I have really bad vision and I can't text very well with my fingers. because I can't see, so it doesn't matter. So anyway, I um, use talk to text a lot and if you haven't figured out, I'm Southern and I have a very heavy accent. And so it often gets things wrong. Well, the text I sent basically made her think I could only do dinner and not the movie. So she changed plans on me. Well, I got really upset. It hurt my feelings. But, you know, about five minutes later, I realized that um, it was my it was my fault. You know, it was a it was just a miscommunication, and I have to take responsibility for that. So I apologize to her. But I've been thinking about this a lot and about personal responsibility and taking responsibility. I'm sure I'm not great at it, but I see so many people struggling with problems, and because they're in denial and they don't want to deal with what's going on in their life, they don't want to face it, and so they just live in this place of denial and it's a real problem. Um, the other day I had kind of an awakening moment with one of my older adult children that I was keeping a cycle going with allowing, giving him money and helping him out and he's not getting any better. And I was telling a friend of mine, a family friend who knows him about this and she said, you know, well, the beginning starts with awareness and I truly believe that. I mean, I'm in the medical field and we say that 80% of illness is generally caused by choices. And I would even go so far to say that 80% of what's happening in our life is because of choices we have made. 20% may be outside influences, environmental factors, things that we cannot control. But even with illness, a lot of what's going on in our bodies is because of decisions we've made to live a certain way of life. And I say that to you as I'm struggling with a chronic, possible, pretty bad diagnosis um, with a genetic disorder that runs in my family. And so I may or may not have this issue going on that could be potentially very um, bad. But on the other hand, I know I can take personal responsibility to take care of myself so I don't suffer as much as if I didn't. And um, as, long, as far as that goes with debt, if you're in debt, you have to own that the problems that you're having are because of your choices that you've made. And there may be some outside influences. There usually is. There may be things going on that were out of your control that didn't work out the way you wanted or things change. But most of what situations we're sitting in are because of choices we've made. Now, first of all, recognizing that is the beginning to change. And when I filed bankruptcy at 21, I made a commitment to myself to not ever be in that situation again. I've been in, I've been in debt. I have had situations I've had to crawl myself out of, but I decided then to learn everything I could about personal finance. And it's been up and down. I've made some bad decisions and some good decisions and I'll fall two steps back, three steps forward. But over the past seven years, you know, once I became a single mom, I'm remarried now, I got really serious. I did not ever want to take a chance of being in that shape again. And so now we've paid off all our debt and all we have is the mortgage and things are a lot less stressful in that area. But if we don't get our mortgage paid off in two years, I know that's going to be because of choices we made. Some I may be able to live with and some I may not, or I may not feel good about, but it's all choices and or it's 80% choices so I would ask you today if you're in a situation really take a long hard look at the choices you've made because if you don't you cannot change it and then when you've looked at those choices then you have to get down and do things differently learn all you can do things differently think of it as your job if you want your life to change 
you have to make the choices. You have to learn. As far as debt goes, you have to learn how to manage your money. You got to write down all your bills. You got to write down where your money's coming from. And you got to look over everything with a fine tooth comb. Then you've got to train yourself how to manage your money. And it can be done. I've done it. And this time I've been successful. I'm eight years in to being debt free. I've been debt free in the past. I was married previously to a person that had really bad spending habits and I'm very codependent and I have to take responsibility that I gave into that. It wasn't all his fault because I signed on the dotted line for that house we couldn't afford. You know, I was buying groceries on the credit card because we had no money. So we have to own it and then we have to change it and we have to educate ourselves. So I hope this hasn't been too much of a gripey video for some people, but I just wanted to get real, and I hope you have a great evening. I'm gonna go feed myself some dinner and now meet my husband and go to a movie.